Meanwhile, Israel officially opened its embassy in Bahrain, three years after both the sides normalized ties. And as Washington presses Riyadh for a similar deal, that would be Israel's biggest diplomatic win in the region. While well, Israeli Foreign Minister Eli Cohen, who is in Bahrain, attended an official ceremony for the opening of the diplomatic mission. The ceremony also included a delegation of businessmen and government officials. Now at the ceremony, Bahrain's Foreign Minister, he said that the embassy serves as a symbol of unity, bridging the gaps between the two nations that will foster a future of prosperity for all. Take a listen. May the Embassy of Israel and the Kingdom of Bahrain serve as a symbol of unity, bridging the gaps between our nations and fostering a future of prosperity for all. Now, the embassy in Bahrain's capital, Manama, will replace the first embassy that Israel opened in 2021, a year after it established diplomatic relations with Bahrain as a part of the United States brokered Abraham Accords. Now, under the accords, Israel also established ties with the United Arab Emirates and also Morocco. Moreover, Israel's foreign minister has agreed with his Bahraini counterpart to also boost trade relations. Now, during his visit to Bahrain, as he seeks to establish ties with Israel. His Excellency, my friend, the foreign minister, and I agreed that we should work together to increase the, direct, the number of the direct flights the tourism, the trade volume, the investment. Israeli Foreign Minister Eli Cohen, who arrived in Bahrain on Sunday, was accompanied by a business delegation of more than 30 companies that are working in high-tech, logistics and real estate. And after the opening ceremony of the mission, Israeli Foreign Minister met with Bahrain Crown Prince Salman bin Ahmad Hal Khalifa in Manama. Well, the Israeli Foreign Ministry is also leading a political and business delegation that will promote trade and investment between the two countries. Not only this, earlier in the day, Cohen also visited the U.S.'s 5th Fleet Navy base in Bahrain.